There is no good reason for anybody to get into a small boat and cross the channel. Are not welcome and should not expect to stay. They are criminals and they don't have a right to be here. It's open door immigration and unlimited asylum. About stopping the invasion You've probably heard these alarming statements from politicians and seen the headlines splashed across the news. It paints a picture of Europe and the UK as a prime destination for refugees. We often then hear people asking, why do all refugees come to Europe or the UK? Why don't they go to other countries? Do these questions sound familiar? But what if we told you that the story you think you know might not be the whole picture? Let's delve into the facts and clear up some common misconceptions. At the end of 2022, a huge number, 103 million people, had been forced to leave their homes due to violence and persecution. Now, here's the surprising part. Four out of five of these refugees stay near their home countries, which are mostly developing or poorer regions of the world. To give some examples, Turkey is home to the most refugees, with 3.7 million. Colombia follows with 2.5 million. Pakistan and Uganda each host 1.5 million refugees, and even Lebanon supports 1.2 million refugees, despite their ongoing economic crises. These countries with fewer resources and weaker infrastructure are the ones doing the most to shelter the world's most vulnerable people. Looking at Europe, it is Germany who takes in the most refugees and asylum seekers, followed by France, Spain and Austria. Now let's look at the UK. 70,000 people claimed asylum in 2022, with just over 23,000 having been granted the right to remain, much less than the rest of Europe. And contrary to common belief, most of these asylum claims are successful, according to the Home Office's own statistics, a 76% approval rate. In addition, the UK hosted only around 231,000 of global refugees in 2022, half of these coming from Ukraine. That's barely half a percent of the UK's total population. So let's get the facts straight. One, most refugees stay close to their home countries. Two, it's usually the developing nations, not the wealthy ones, that take in most refugees. And three, the UK hosts only a tiny fraction of the world's refugees. Understanding these truths is crucial, especially in the face of misleading and harmful rhetoric. We've all heard the harsh words and seen the divisive tactics used by some politicians. They aim to stir fear and misunderstanding, to create an us versus them mentality. But we can fight back against this dangerous rhetoric. We can do this by arming ourselves with knowledge, by understanding the real story and by sharing this truth with others. The refugee crisis isn't about invasion or burden, but humanity and solidarity. When we decide to base our views and actions on facts instead of fear, we are all better equipped to make a difference.